Good day from the 65th Annual Cannes Film Festival. I'm Ian Roberts, and I'm presenting to you a program created by Paramax and Mund West, a program entitled Con Echo 2012, in partnership with Screen International. In our program, we have a unique opportunity to take a look into the world of film finance. Through a series of interviews and roundtables, we gain valuable insight from the leaders of the film finance industry and how they are bridging the gap between unique storytelling and the financial resources to make them become a big screen cinematic experience. In this edition of our Con Echo Series 2012, we had the opportunity of sitting down with Paul Brett of Prescience Films for an overview of independent film finance today. Here's what he had to say. Good morning and welcome to can on this blustery day and to a Screen International conversation about the state of independent film financing in the world today. Jen, you've come from New York and you've brought a film to the market which premiered at Tribeca last month, I believe. And how are you finding the reception to that film here? The reception is great. I mean, we're, we haven't sold a film yet. We're still working on doing that. But, and our film in particular is, is pretty outside of the box, you know, it's not a genre film, it's, it's not a horror story or romantic comedy, it's, it's an art film and it's a film about art. So it definitely is a tougher sell. But um, the response is great in terms of like the feedback about the, the creative aspects of the film and the production value and whatnot. So I, I believe there's a fit, I, I totally believe there's a fit. Fantastic. Yeah. And Jen, your next project is a, a very big biopic of one of the biggest and earliest stars, Mary Pickford. Would you consider looking to Europe for co-financing or co-production on this, or do you see this as a uniquely American film? No, I definitely would look to Europe for co-financing. Um, I think it's amazing to be able to collaborate with other territories and, and work on a project and, and benefit from whatever incentives they have to offer. And we actually started talking to Studio Babelsberg about the Mary Pickford project, so we're definitely interested. Jen, you make films for the big screen, but the economics that are driving your filmmaking are about the small screen, as Al just said. How do you feel about that, and do you feel you've got a grasp on, on what buyers will do with your film that you've made? Yes and no. I mean, I'm, it's weird. I'm, I'm obviously young, and I, but I've worked in the business for a while, and I, but I'm sort of old fashioned in a weird way. Like I don't know a lot about um, what's going on on TV and, and also what's going on with technology and the internet and stuff like that. So for me, it's like I'm, even though I operate with a business mind, it's like I'm also, I'm, I'm really focused on the integrity of the project and the creative process and, and I'm interested in making things for a movie theater and for that experience. So that's sort of what I'm immersed in, you know. You've brought a film to Cannes and you're talking up your next project here. Mm -hmm. Are you finding a wait and see attitude from buyers and, and colleagues or are people wanting to engage with you about making another film? People are definitely wanting to engage. I think that it might be because of what the film is about, you know? This film is about the beginning of Hollywood and, and the formation of the, the system and, and the culture that we know, you know? So that's definitely a story that's wanting to be told. Um, in terms of, I mean, we just attached an actor, Lily Rabe, who's kind of like at that point where she's not a household name and she's not necessarily bankable, but she's, been nominated for a Tony opposite Al Pacino. She's in a hit TV show. She's got a Meryl Streep like quality. She's probably a couple movies away from, from something. Um, but it's definitely at that point where you're, people are like, they respect her as a talent, but yet don't know what her what her value is. So it's interesting to have those conversations. But but it's it's fine if you be, for me if I believe in what I'm doing, it's it's all fine. You know. Thank you for watching our Con Echo 2012 series. 